Good afternoon and welcome back to the Touchline on Y254. Maxwell Asika is my name. This time round we want to speak about rugby, the National 7 circuit currently underway and joining me, joining us in the studio this particular afternoon is Major Mulongo from Blood Blood of Kenyatta University and they participated in Ingo Rugby 7 tournament last weekend in Kakamega and the guy emerged as top point scorer and top try scorer. Good to see you, Major. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Meda ni given name ni ni inherited name from two grandfather. Oh nice. Ni Major Kiswahili si English. Oh ni Major Kiswahili. And talking about Major Mulonga, you related to New Health Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Deborah Mulongo Baraza. Ama ni kimajina tu muna share. Kimajina tu muna share. Tell us about your experience in Ingo Rugby Sevens tournament. Ingo Rugby Sevens was a good weekend for me. I think technically in Go being home, climate and everything, it was just the perfect place for me to showcase my talent. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was to Kujituma. Kujituma? Yeah, What were the secrets behind you finishing, bagging two individual titles? I don't know how to go to Manze, but... But it's really hard work. Yeah, but there's a lot of hard work being put in place and then there's uh, people who believe in you uh, most probably I'd like to mention my coach and some few uh, rugby leaders at our club. Uh, those are people who believed in me, even though at a PME when I was in Germany. My coach, before the pre-season, I was in a major this time. He was in the season. I 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 was in you see, mtu wana yeah, believe, hizo, hizo, eh, hizo mtu sentiments wana, eh, zita kuinspire. Eh, mtu wana believe in you, we uko bado una cheat out, but since unasikia wasi wengi wana kubelieve, inabili pia umeanza tu kwa muka and putting in the effort, morning trainings, evening trainings, morning rounds and stuff by hizo. And uh, Ken, it's good to see, you know, yeah. uh, growth and development of institutional yeah. uh, sporting activities. Yeah. And uh, two years ago, we were talking about, you know, Death of rugby in our universities, mean yeah. machine at the University of Nairobi, blood, black blood, blood, blood of KU, and now there is resurgence. Yeah. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, and, and you know, we always want to see more of that because, you know, in the varsity teams, we can have a lot of players because schools are open with uh, the registrations and the people joining. And uh, to see university sites at the top, you know, that represents, you know, a raw passion, especially because, you know, when the corporate sites come, you know, they found players and picked them together. But when you start with a side from school, the culture, the people around you, you build it together. And, uh, you know, as time goes, I'd like to see more varsity sides break into the Kenya Cup, break into one of the leading sides in the seventh circuit. Because, you know, there's a lot of great, great players there and they have an identity. Because, you, you know, I can say I represent this school, I play for this school. And you, you just push the culture of the institution. And it's also marketing for the schools maybe to get more people to join or also an inspiration for people when they join school not only to study but you see when you see people great people like major here winning things you are motivated to not study only but also do co-curricular play sports and become a winner through sports so that when you graduate you are graduating while also being a really really top talent from the institution two things in one so that's why i really really hold varsity sports really really high you know, back in the day, there was this stereotype uh, from our parents that, you know, kids ought to have prioritized academic involvement rather than co-curricular. Ugenda shule, mkicheza school games at CG, munaenda kakamega hai, munaenda CG wapi, hey, mzazi, ameshika, ameshika ubaya na wewe, because they want you to uh, pay priority to books. Mimi labda nikekua Ken. Ningekuwa ni international badminton player. <laughs> Ama chess. Ningekuwa na iskuma competitively. But sasa mzazi anasema vitabu vitabu. I don't know from your own end. What's the, what's the reception like from you know people around you? Are they supportive? Uh, I think nilipitia pia the same thing. Uh, but you defied. Uh, <laughs> ah, I think you defied. Uh, what happened me, my dad was a football player. Ah. He managed coaches, I think, FC for one season before an injury. Uh -huh. So I think he had to be a nice son. 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 So, he, so, so, so getting into high school, I was into sports, I was into football. But he had to be a support. So, what I was saying is that 
Maliza to high school, ukitaka kucheza sports after high school, si support. So that's what I did. Nikafanya to high school, si kucheza any sport. I think I only did chess in high school. Then after form 4, nika kutana na rugby. Sasa ndo nikaanza kucheza rugby after after form 4. Kim, uh, you know, we got Mean Machine, uh, Black Blood, we got uh, Strathmolios, and you know, those uh, higher learning institutions yeah. have immensely played uh, a big role yeah. in the, you know, contribution of players who yeah. got to participate for our senior national team sevens. Yeah, and uh, on that, you know, I'd like to mention one of the people from the school, I mean, Odongo. Yes. And I've seen him, I've seen him grow in Daystar, I've seen him play the rugby in Daystar, and what it means for the institution, not yes. just him as a person, but the whole institution and the whole culture of the institution. We really value him that much. So I feel like the schools, the varsity league itself needs to be invested in. Before we send these players out there and they do the circuit, we need to create a proper league for university teams. We need to see the university teams not so ready or so willing to participate out there because we have a proper structure in a league. We need to see proper investment. When these rugby players are in school, I want to see them getting, getting what any other person will get from a corporate or anything. Because number one, what I believe is we need to take care of the player because it's the, it's the identity yes, of the yes, team. Yes, yes. The team is made up, of, made up of players. It's not made up of individuals who are differing. These are players who've committed themselves. And as Major said, you know, it's something that you can grow with time because I find it unique for him to come from chess to rugby. It's something, <laughs> it's something I've never had. But you see, things like that are unique and they can be built through varsity sports and high school sports because they offer you more than just one sport. You can play football and then in the evening you're rehearsing for drama festival. That is something really, really only varsity and high school for sports can provide for someone. And that, I, again, that is really unique. Chess to rugby, it's <laughs> never been done. Chess to rugby, how did you manage? The transitioning from chess to rugby doesn't look real. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I how think, did you go about it? I think uh, what happened is when, when you finish from four and then, then there's that period of waiting before joining the yes, university. Yeah. So, at home, technically, you can't get mo many people playing chess or you can't access chess boards and stuff. But at least there was rugby. So I just needed something something to do in the evenings. And so rugby was there and I started doing it. And then I think uh, KU, KU Black Blood and the coaches and the management were, yes. was instrumental for my growth as a player. Because when I was joining KU, I would say... I was fresh. I didn't know much about rugby, even passing or anything. But uh, in KU, I think the coaches have that patience that they want to nurture you to grow to, into something. When they see something in you, they will try to mentor you into something good and something brilliant. So uh, I'll give the credit to the KU Black Blood team and the coaches and the management and staff. Uh, so in summary, are you trying to tell us that uh, probably at your... Uh, tendering age you also need to diversify and get to uh, get yourself involved in multiple sporting uh, disciplines because you never know where you will end yeah, like omanyala true. yeah yeah that's he true. started with rugby right yeah true in kamsinga in kamsinga right now he's an athletics in athletics doing uh, very well so is that what you also trying to advocate for young people outside there probably watching the program and they want to become uh, huge sportsmen or sportswomen, what should they do? Which route should they take? I think follow? at a young age, maybe let's say below 12 or below 15, yes. it's best that you engage in different sports. Try, yes. try something, volleyball, try running, try football, try different type of sports. Uh, I think when you grow up, many, maybe when you are... With the guidance of the coach or probably you just uh, alone in I, your own individual capacity? I think in your own individual <laughs> capacity. You just try and th you, uh, when you grow up, I think you'll find that this, this one is more fun than this one. I love this one than this one. So after that, now you can take that path. If you have decided on football, then you can take the football path. Maybe find an academy or a coach or a team and start playing. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, at a young age, it's best that you try different, different things. Uh, it, it may work best for you. Yeah. What do you think is the future for rugby uh, as far as institutions are concerned? Because Min Machine, UN, Black Blood, KU, Strathmore Leo, Strathmore University, should there be more of, you know, investment in scholarships so that, you know, those kids that 
get to finish high schools and they are extremely talented and probably they are needy, they are coming from humble backgrounds, should there be a provision for scholarships to such kinds of kids so that, you know, we enrich the game at the institutional level? Uh, I think uh, with provision of scholarships and, and stuff like that, uh, it even broadens the Chesco variety. You can choose uh, good players from different uh, places, uh, offering them scholarships, and then uh, it motivates even the player. You know, when you are, off, you are being offered the scholarship, you can't give up on it. Yeah. Because when you give up playing, that means your scholarship gets terminated. So it motivates player to keep on working hard. To You are looking up uh, for something. And then Pia Kuna, I think most universities are party enough funding and then... From who? Yeah, like we should see more corporates trying oh. to sponsor the, the institutions. Junona, uh, institutions, mobs are good talent, but when you talk to your mates outside here, I'm saying, 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 I'm Unaona eh let's say KU yeah, yeah. nimeona wako na KU health facility as uh, a referral hospital level 6 pia games should, do you think they should take that route as well and yeah. invest heavily in I think they should invest heavily in sport because uh, it's a good marketing strategy mm. uh, when uh, when let's say when we go outside Kenya as KU yeah. You know, we are marketing KU. Even they can get even international students. Mm -hmm. We attract uh, uh, other other children from high school. And kila mtu wanaka chini ya nanza kufikiria hii KU, hii KU, tunaisikianga KU, KU. Watu wanataka kujoin. But atupati that much uh, sponsorship from the schools. Yeah. Una, unapata maybe to, for some for some of our clubs, unapata maybe to ni makoches wanajitolea ju. Ka school in a come in, it are peleka, it are lipia eh, rooms, nini, kwenda out it are lipia, but mm. unajua kuna zile time, maybe we metoka training. Most of us, ni comrades, metoka training, auna ata food. Mm. So, shule in a fai come in, COVID, kama hizo food, supplements, and everything, to make sure training iko best. June is it in our market, technically. Yeah. Mm. Uh, generally, can, from an administrative perspective, what should those managers of school games do to ensure that, you know, there is enhanced growth and development of the same yeah. in our institutions. I think they should, as you said, you should use that rugby to seek those partnerships. You know, you, you know you have a good team. This is Kenyatta University. It's a premium yeah. university. There's no way you cannot sell KU to anyone. But the school now has to approach the companies that can actually come in and pay them. Because, you know, to be honest, the, the, where they are playing and how the, the number of uh, players that are there, you don't need small, measly, you know, finances. You need a proper, proper docket to manage the finances and ensure when the team goes out, it's playing in the best uh, rugby leagues. It's in Kenya Cup, you're playing in uh, the sevens, even when you're playing in the championship, you know. When you're going for accommodation, you're getting great accommodation. And I'd also like to see the schools being open to different forms of sponsorships. You know, where I, they, I, where I, saw, I sat, I used to think of finding a sponsorship for maybe the school team and something, and... You look at, let's say, a betting company. You know, when they come in, they do the flashiness, they get you the kids and get the money, but whatever the company is pushing does not resonate with the values of the institution. So it becomes hard to find sponsors who are willing because in our country we see betting companies that are willing to put money, but the institutions themselves are not, you know, they don't follow those values. For example, maybe you say it's a Christian-based, so you see they, are, they, are, they, are, they don't want to hear any, anything about gambling at all. And the other companies, you know, maybe they're just coy because they haven't seen other companies doing it. And you think of maybe Safaricom and maybe any institution, any higher learning institution, you know, where have they come in? Or Airtel or any of these guys, where have they come in? None of them have. And it's quite shocking because the issues is saying that they should be things of the past. You know, this is Kenya. We can't have people playing rugby and not even having food after you know those are so like he's saying that you know he managed to <laughs> finish as top try scorer and top point scorer yeah. at the ingo rugby sevens tournament in kakamega which is part of national seven circuit yeah. and uh, there are no cash prizes to to read uh except the I, trophies 
I think the, the cash prize was only for the MVP, but uh, for the other awards, there are no cash prizes. Yeah. What do you think this is attributed to? Is it because of proper lack of proper sponsorship? Uh, I can't be sure on the other <laughs> side of the career what, what's happening on the other side. You know, my role is just to play yeah, and showcase yeah. my talent yeah. and wait for the end re results. No, nothing much. Yeah. So I can't be sure what's happening on the other side. Yeah. Generally, what do you think about the performance of Kenyan lads in France? They finished uh, ninth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ninth. Ninth. Shuja. ninth uh, I think uh, it was a big stage. Uh, I think it's a growing team. As you can see, they are most, most of them are young people. Most of them are my age mates. Maybe for some of them, it's their, f it's their first time maybe doing an Olympic or doing such a high competitive uh, rugby event. I think with time, maybe if they are, uh, they are good with time, they should be able to scale up. Uh, whereas they could perform better in the coming HSBC series, which is starting, I think, around end of November or somewhere end of this year, uh, they should be ready. And, and I think they will perform better because it's, it's a, a relatively young team and a, an energetic team and a, a hard-working team. Yeah, I believe in them. What is the strategy this time around to avoid relegation? I remember when you got relegated, <laughs> <laughs> Kenyans cried that, oh, Shuja is gone and now off international scene, but we made a stylish comeback and we're doing very well. This time around heading into HSBC 7 series, what, uh, what should be <laughs> the uh, secret to I avoid uh, going down? I think just thinking from the, the new coach, what he did, uh, he did away with all the old players, technically the players that took uh, Kenya to relegation. <laughs> and then he brought in a new, very young team. They have a lot to prove, they, are, they have a lot to show, uh, they are energetic. So I think with the right investment and the right work and the right training and the right strategies, uh, we should be even, we should be winning a few legs in the HSBC. Uh, with the, with the, if he maintains the team, I think it will be a better team. Yeah. National 7 circuit, as we speak right now, heads to Dala, 7 in Kisumu. Me and Deno here, we can agree that, you know, the popularity around the circuit nowadays has dwindled. Because Kitambo Bana, Ilikwanga Masaku, hype, ama Prince Luna Kuru, hype. What really happened? I think it really happened in COVID. Me, no, no, no. Like, it's crazy to not have COVID, Sana. I'm a COVID. COVID will hit evil. It will really happen in COVID. I uh. think Pia uh, to join more investors into these tournaments. Oh. Uh, to join more, more investors. I think uh, current investor ni. Tasca. No. Tasca on board. I think sports sport, sport, sport oh. person. Yeah, sport person, the current investor. So I think ni something, I think in a quite revived. Pole pole to hey, nakuja, hey, nakuja pole pole. I think uh, uh, the first leg in Christie, we saw a very large crowd, very, very massive crowd. And then I think uh, the organizers of the event, the Christie, were top notch. Their uh, streaming sites were quality mm -hmm. and everything. I think Nikitu Manza could hit up. I think last year, compared to last year, this season, this circuit to make kick off well. Compared to last year, it was a little bit low class, but this, this circuit in Mona, people are really uh, scaling up. Unaendanga refuye, unapata kumeja kumeja. Do these overwhelming crowds resonate in gate collections? Uh, actually... And if they do, mm. uh, the ultimate value of the same, to, do we get to see and witness at the, oh, Christy Sevens in later numbers, easy numbers in later get collections, I, uh, this now, as a host team, itafanya kazi fulani, kazi fulani. I Do we get to see that? I think most of the host team, I think for a team like Christy, I think one to me is get collection to help them run through the, the circuit. Mm -hmm. With the circuit, there's a lot of traveling, accommodation and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think most of their good get collection who are oh, not to make for a, logistical yeah, expenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuna expenses mob through the circuit. So, yeah, kuna kwa ngana get collection, every circuit, I think, even, even though most of the clubs spend their money. Yeah. Always a pleasure speaking about, you know, mm -hmm. institutional sporting activities and what is happening as far as National 7 circuit is concerned. The 
in go seven rugby tournament that happened last weekend in Kakamega was it the third or second leg uh, it was the second second, the second, second leg yeah. this weekend we're taking a break then uh, the yeah. following weekend we in Kisumu yeah. for Dala rugby seven tournament and Major Mulongo playing for Black Blood of Kenyatta University currently in fourth year yeah, yeah. You, which course are you pursuing? I'm doing statistics and computer programming. Hey, that looks nice. <laughs> How are you, you know, uh, multitasking between the two? I think... Rugby uh, and uh, learning. Mostly, luckily, mm. our seven circuit always fall in our long holiday. Oh. So... Kamasai. Uh, eh, Kamasai to go long holiday. So, kuna hiyo time ya work out, maybe ya subui na jioni. The Kenya Cup ndo wena kuwa time ya, ya shule, but unajua Kenya Cup ni 15, so hakuna a lot of work to be put in. So one training a day is enough. Uh, so uh, during the day you do your classes, you wake up early, do your assignments and everything. Jionu unenda training, mostly ukitoka training umechoka unalala. So ni unamka asubui, unafanya shuguli zako za shule, mchana you attend classes and then jioni. Sasa you know, jamaa complex and there is this stereotype that you know eh, <laughs> you know what I wanna say <laughs> guys who get to play sports at a bigger level at normally they are not you know academic oriented you know this notion and tired me yeah and it's it's extremely tired because you know mm -hmm. personally you see, me the course that he's doing, you know, <laughs> yeah. and he's able to balance that course yeah. and also, you know, be a good rugby player as we can see, you know, it's something that it's a notion of the past and I think it's a notion that people carry from high school because that is where it, it pops up from. But I think you, as long as you are determined and committed, you can balance your academics and your talent at the same time. You just need to, to be a proper, you, you have to schedule yeah. everything and commit proper time to everything and you'll be uh, uh, you'll be able to get it but you know the course he's doing is, is not an no, not Kenya Kionga Ivo I relate kwa sababu yeah. as an alumni of Upper Hill mm -hmm. uh, Michael Engineer Lunga alitoka pale na airplane yeah. akaenda kufanya a very technical course yeah. Joe Special Engineering yeah Ken mwenye kwa kwa too much into sports akufikisha <laughs> hiyo performance <laughs> Ni mbona kati yetu tuko na lot of wase wengi wanafanya courses big medical doctors engineers tuko na lot of engineers na medical doctors pia kuna perception at rugby at iko na professionals even in our senior national rugby seven team shuja utaambiwa monde alikuwa banka pale KCB njera mara anafanya nini kayange ni mu heavyweight hivyo hivyo but I think it has to cut across all these sporting disciplines, yeah, right? True, 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 true. And it does. I, I think, oh, yeah. at, uh, uh, sorry to say this, but ni most, I think most brilliant guys who are going to sports. Yeah. Unajua sports pain increase your mental activity and increase productivity yako mentally. So technically, when you are sports, you should be performing better. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's been an honor talking about this and uh, always a pleasure coming through Major Mulongo, a student at Kenyatta University playing for Black Blood and uh, having finished as top try scorer and top point scorer at the Ingo Rugby 7 tournament in Kakamega, having featured for Black Blood of KU. And of course, as we speak, National 7 circuit takes a break this particular weekend. On to the next one, it will be Dala Rugby 7 tournament in Kisumo. Of course, we're going to be coming back with an interesting conversation regarding what's happening in Paris Olympics as far as you know Kenya and lads performance and two gentlemen who form an integral part of the sport uh, have already joined us and they will be getting into the sets in not too long. Don't go away, stay tuned to the touchline.